How tragic. And at the gazebo, no less, where she was clearly doing her own Shakespearean play. But which one was it? Was it Hamlet or was it Romeo and Juliet? Because both of them could be thematically consistent. Once again, the game being delight delightfully light on details about a strangulation. She died from the boa. It's like, yeah, well, examine the body. She died from the boa. Oh, the body's gone. And disappeared, yeah. That's fine. There's not actually no. It's good. It's fine. There's nothing wrong here. It's cool. There's definitely no spooky shit happening in this manner. Nothing at all. Everything Absolutely is Absolutely nothing murdery. No. It's all. It's all just uh, fucking wizards. Wizards are doing it. That's it. So at least we seem to have a prime suspect here, according to the parrots. Like the the accountant may have got his revenge by choking the woman out. That's at least something we can infer from from what the parrot said. Now it's either that or the parrot is making all of this shit up and leading us on a wild goose chase, which I guess is possible. <laughs> I mean, parrots do that, right? They they lie. Well, on the plus side, we found the corpse. That's um, that's good. It didn't uh, leave empty-handed. I would also be, I would still be very slightly, slightly worried that like our best friend was was looking through like the armory for cool shit. That that kind of that really uh, puts me at ease, you know. Well, who looks through an armory and then strangles somebody with their own scarf, though? This is true. This is very true. Maybe she's looking for new props for the doll heads, you know? <laughs> That's far less creepy. That's true. So, nothing in the games room. It's amazing to think that this place is getting even quieter with less people in it. It's funny how that works. <laughs> Yes, we're now down three occupants. Yes. And one of them is heavily drunk, so we're more or less down to two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, dining room's clear. This is good. Oh yeah, this is weird. The game glitched here for some <laughs> weird... Like, I don't know what happened here, but legit, like, I tried to look through the eye holes and I just got stuck in position. Like, it's almost as if, like, it, the game just made me face, like, a face away from the painting and therefore couldn't do the animation. But, like, it just... I was frozen here. And I think this is, like, the first or second time this happens. And I wouldn't mind, but I, I'd literally done, like, a whole rate of progress only for to have to do this shit all over again. <laughs> like you fucking ah <laughs> even in a game where where this is like going like surprisingly well for Sierra standards shit like this just happens yeah game breaking bugs happen all the time <laughs> poorly paced and buggy love it <laughs> poorly paced it's not paced at all three people have dead three people have died and still nothing has happened You know, for all we slag off Sierra games, I actually do quite like them. You know, I mean, like, they're absolute men madness to get through without a walkthrough. But yeah. I do still quite like these. Like, I, the funny thing is, if you were to make these games easy... Ooh, ooh what's the one thing here? This is very weird. Are they having a standoff? Went through two time periods. Yeah, that's very strange. Mash, eh? we're gonna have an altercation here. Yeah? 
Why, you? I'm shaking my fist at you, I am. I challenge you to fist the cuffs. Ow, that will fucking do it. That will... Yeah, that'll do it. Well, Rudy's got one hell of a right cross. Fucking does. Oh, that was good form. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> got, just got sparked out in front of a woman, in front of a teenage girl. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, fuck you too, Rudy. Asshole. I, I'm trying to. But yeah, like I, I kind of want to your point there. Like there is actually there's sometimes a very endearing trait about these here again, especially around this time where the tech is improving a bit more. So they're trying to push the boat out. And you can just see that some things are working and some things aren't, but at least they're trying. You know, they're not like um, you know, uh they're they're at least trying to do something different than these games. I think with like the games like like the the quest games, that's when they're getting they're at their more tedious, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know, at least in my at least in my opinion. And then every now and then they'll come out with something like fantastic like the Gabriel Light games and all is forgiven. <laughs> you know, kind of way. I also like just based on the playthrough, I choose to believe that those two men were fighting for half an hour and we have just like caught the highlights of it, you know. <laughs> Again, still nothing to see here, folks. Because half the occupants of the house are dead. <laughs> really? I mean, I was hoping to see some ghosts. Like this game suddenly transforms into fucking seven. <laughs> no, that'd be great. That'd be great. And we're gonna do some half-assed puzzles about chess. Yes, even I did this gimmick before Sierra did. Take that, motherfuckers. That's what makes me feel hope, is the fact that like at some point, games like Seven Guests were really well rated. Oh, hello, Jeeves. Jeeves is continuing his chores. He is. Good on him. I hope he... I hope he's happy. Doing Doesn't look it. <laughs> he, he's a stern... Oh. Oh shit, son! Oof! Oof! How about that? Ah, the butler's doing it. Well, now, <laughs> well, fuck, he fucking certainly did do that. <laughs> I do believe the colonel um, has some competition, and not to say that the colonel is uh, is in trouble here, but like this guy can actually walk, you know. Like he can, he can put the he can put the fucking mileage in. Also, there was a shadow at the window there as well while yeah, they were getting along. Quite interesting as well. So that had a little wrinkle to things now. Fifi and Jeeves perhaps uh, tag team in here. Consider that consider that Jeeves is cleaning cleaning up the crime scenes. Like, it's possible that Fifi maybe mm -hmm. is killing them and Jeeves cleans up after her, or vice versa, indeed. And uh, that, was a, that was a nice little wrinkle into this. And now all we have to do <laughs> is wait for another body to show up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a fun part. We're now waiting for murders to happen. It's the most exciting part. So now it is a room where both occupants have died. It's like in F1 where like both cars are retired. They're just packing up early. It's like, right, right we're done. We better go home now. <laughs> That's not reason for us to be here. <laughs> Let's not embarrass ourselves more. <laughs> First lap collision. Fuck it. Let's just go home. And now Lillian's having a look here. That she is here. <laughs> Lillian on the bed, is, you dicks. The game's having an existential crisis. Lillian is not here. 
Vivian doesn't live here anymore. Lillian is gone. There is only Mr. Flibbles. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> what? Right. How strange. Like, I, I can only assume that's a programming mishap, like. Yeah. Anyway. Maybe if we spy on Lillian, the game will acknowledge her presence. Because apparently that's our only job now. You told us she wasn't there. Yeah. She looks fairly twitchy there. <laughs> She's like just waiting, like politely waiting for something, I guess. Oh, that's kind of awkward. The two lads who are fighting have to share a room. That's uh that's unfortunate. <laughs> I bet they have a lot to talk about. <laughs> well, the general's still uh, MIA as well. I wonder where he's disappeared off to. Mm. Mm. Nope. And, yeah. Oh, the elevator's back. Mm -hmm. That was there before. No, I wasn't there in the last shot, no. Yeah. I am sensing a lot of shenanigans here, Neil. Shenanigans are plenty. Yeah. You know, like, in fairness, I like the idea of, like, the murders are happening all around us and just eventually, like, it'll be our turn. <laughs> but at the same time, it would have been a funner game if we were actually word of murder or trying to pick these people off and doing it in the most, like, stealthy way possible you know like actually trying to identify who is the easiest to get do you take down the easiest person first or do you take down the hardest person first and go back to them mm. like it could be like literally you do it in any order you want but the key thing is just not to show not to arouse suspicion but they could be quite good for a vr game in fairness because you have to even like even like little sort of things like saying the right things and like not Giving yourself away with facial features. Like, there you go. Like, shit, that would work. Murder house. There we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pile it. I'm gonna. Oh. Oh. She's been wandering around for an hour and a half. What the fuck was she drinking? Brake fluid? Fucking no idea. Probably drinking off the horse, maybe. <laughs> so, I've been, I've been trying this new concoction. I think it's called Bayou Water. I was just saying it's delicious. So I think I think I think I took a cut here because um, uh, I just uh, like there's a bit of meandering and nothing happens. So this is me, I think, getting back to the to the crux of the matter. That I think I had another glitch as well, which didn't help things. Oh, nope, there we are. Captain Curtains is back. Sitting alone in the bar. Hmm. Oh. Unkilled, it seems. <laughs> and Rudy is also sitting. They're, they're not on speaking terms now. They're they're stewing in their own rooms. Dessert and coffee. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Planning his next move. I do like how there's a very natural standoff between those two men. It's like, well, they just had a fight, and the only way they're taking their mind off it is drinking and eating. Truly, men of their time. In that order. Yeah. So 
Still no sign of our um, happy little general, wherever he's disappeared to. Again, I couldn't have a note, but there hasn't been a death lately. I wonder if our... Um, yeah, it's been at least 15 minutes before somebody's croaked it. That's what I'm saying. Like, or, where'd you want? Oh, all is in matter of just finding where, where they've showed up, where they've turned up. It's the most exciting part of the game. Well, you know it's not Rudy or Clarence. Yes, they're sitting, they're sitting politely having supper. So it is nice bayou waters. Lovely panoramic, panoramic view. <laughs> and there's a very visual cue of don't fucking leave. I think that's, selfie, that's fairly self-explanatory, that is. Oh yeah, I forgot about the grass maze, the fucking hedge maze. Yes. So we'll. this will be uh, touched upon uh, towards the end. Mm. When there's less people to, that can interfere. <laughs> like Laura's playing the long game here. Like we know there's treasure there, but wait until no one else <laughs> notices. <laughs> Which you have to say is good strategy on her. So. I think now I think now it is a case of just me just trying to find anything at this state at this point. And that is like I as we've mentioned already, like it really kills the pacing when like you're just waiting for something to happen. You know? 